I'm Sam, and welcome back to BestBeginnerGuitarLessons.com. Now today we're going to cover our third guitar card. Hopefully you've been practicing and you've got the C card down pretty good, the G7 card. Hopefully you've got them clear. The C card, where it's sounding clear, and the G7, where it's sounding clear also. If they're not quite 100% clear, when you take your pick and go down and strum each bar, each string individually. If they're not perfect, perfect, that's fine. Just keep practicing. They'll, they will eventually clear up. And probably you won't even notice it, but they'll just clear up by themselves as you practice uh, from day to day. So just keep at it. And again, uh, do not move on to the next lesson before learning the lesson that you're currently working on. Very, very important. But if you get them to where they sound pretty clear, then we we'll move, then move on to the next next lesson. Today we're going to talk about a card that probably is one of the most hardest, if not the hardest, guitar card for any beginner to play, and that is the F card. It is an important card because once you're able to play the F and play it, make it sound clear, play it properly, then the, any other card you play will not be difficult at all. And what makes the F card hard is that you, you're playing it with three fingers, but they're really close together. So what we're looking at on the F card, now remember, you should have already had your guitar in tune, ready to go. Should have already had it. Hopefully you've got an electronic tuner to help you, or a pitch pipe, or even go back to one, my tuning video, and you can tune to, the, to my guitar in the video. Hopefully you've already taken care of that. Very important. Okay, the F card, again, is, is one of the most important cards as far as learning. Because, again, once you learn it and can play it clear, everything else will seem easy. Now, a lot, a lot of the uh, courses you'll see on the net will avoid the F card deep into the lessons. Or won't even show it at all. I've always liked to go ahead and teach the F card for, for the re reason I just stated. It's once you learn it, the other cards become a whole lot easier to play just going from one to the other. And really and truly the F is not that hard. Uh, I've had some students, uh, once I show it to them, they able to play it perfectly the very first time. A few, not too many, but a few. But again, practice, practice, practice. None of the cards are too hard. You will be able to play them. You will be able to learn. And again, we're getting we're getting close to the first song. But it's very important that we learn these cards properly and making them sound clear before we get to the first song. So the F card we're talking about today is again, you want your, your, your thumb to rest behind the neck where it's kind of comfortable for you. But don't let your palm lay against the neck like grabbing a board. Just let the thumb be behind the neck, the palm away from the back of the neck, and that will allow your fingers to come all the way around, wrap around, where they won't be touching the fretboard like we've talked about before. And they'll come up and over, and as straight up and down as they possibly can to where the tip of the finger is touching the uh, strings. So what we have on the F, again, today we've been playing on the C card, you have one finger for each string. On the G7, you have one finger for each string in the card, which is three, three notes, three individual notes, three fingers for the C and three individual fingers for the G7. Today, for the F, we're going to have the first finger. It's going to be laying on the first two strings, the first and second strings, the small strings, just behind the first fret. So instead of it being up and over, straight up and down, it's going to want, you're going to want it to lay down kind of flat where you cover the first two strings on the first fret. Then you're going to bring your second finger, okay, to the third string, second fret. So you have your first finger on the first two strings on the first fret. Your second finger will be on the third string, second fret, okay? And then you add the third finger to the fourth string, third fret. So you have first finger on the first two strings of first fret, second finger on the third string, second fret, 
and third finger on the fourth string, third fret. That's the F. And that's the way it should sound. Now, if you're getting a sound, something like this, not clear, or, or buzzing sound, anything like this. not clear, look at your fingers and this may be several things causing this. On the F chord, it may be that your second finger is touching the second string, okay, causing it to be dead, okay, like, like that. It's not coming up and over. So again, it's either going to be a finger, one of the fingers touching the string next to it, or not enough pressure straight down to the key to the fretboard press the string straight down not sideways straight down like so straight down okay now if this is too much of a space for you some people it is most people can do it without a problem the spacing between the three frets for the f since the first finger is laying down you can bring the second thing second third finger up away from the fret a little bit, not too much. You don't want to get way up, but just a little bit away from the fret, reducing the space, and it allows you to play the card a little bit easier. So again, you can make that adjustment with your fingers as long as you're staying on the proper fret. First, second, third fret. Okay, first, second, third finger. So the F is first two strings, first fret, second finger, third string, second fret, and then the third finger, the fourth string, third fret. And again, strum it. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Then you can take it and then strum each string. You want to sound clear. And again, just practice, practice, practice. That's what it takes. It's practice, practice, practice. Okay. And at the at the bottom. Uh, on, on the page where this video, where you're viewing this video, I'll also have a diagram of the F chord to help you, which I have on, on all the cards we talk about. I'll have a diagram showing the card, which you've probably already noticed. So that's the F. So again, on any of the cards we've had, the C, G7, or the F, if you're having trouble with getting the pressure down, making the, the, the string sound clear, not, have, not having that dead sound, it's one or, one or two or three things. Either you're touching the string next to it with one of the other fingers. You're not pressing straight up and down firmly to the fretboard. Okay. Uh, that's that's the two main things of, of those two things. Again, and if you, you need to, uh, you, you can slide your fingers, adjust them here just a little bit. Still stay within the frets, on the proper frets. And that usually helps you clear up. The one thing that will clear them up is practice. Again, if you can sit down and practice at least 15 minutes per day, and dedicate yourself to doing it, you'll start learning these cards really quick. You'll start sounding them out, they'll sound clear, and then we'll be able to put it, you'll be able to put them together and we'll start strumming the cards. Uh, that will be coming up very soon. Being able to change from one card to the other. Right now, Primarily what you're wanting to do is make sure you're making the cards right. C, G7, and F. Make them sound clear. So you just strum. Start like you play in the C, we should already know it. G7, strum. Should know it already. And then the F. What we learned today. And again, the F can be a little difficult, much more so than the other cards we've talked about already. But once you get it, then when you learn the next card and the next card, they won't seem as difficult if you can get that F down. So there you have it. We've talked about three cards now. So here's what you need to do. Sit down and go over the C, which you should already know. Hopefully you got it down. G7, same thing. Hopefully you know. Have it down. You can play it. Sound good. Now learn the F. Make it sound clear. Practice, make it sound clear. Then you sit and practice. 
do the C, and then you do the G7, say four strums, then the F, and then in the next lesson, we'll start talking about putting these cards together and changing from one to the other, which that's a whole new uh, thing that we'll have to deal with is once you know the cards, by the next lesson, we'll start changing from one to the other. And uh, that'll be really interesting and fun. And like I say, we're really getting close to the first song. I know, I know you're excited, and, and I am. And again, uh, I'm having some real good response to the website. I'm, I'm continuing to put the videos on each and every day. And I know people are getting benefit from it. I've had some good emails uh, coming in asking different questions and uh, thanking me for putting the website up. And I'm really excited about the entire process. And again, uh, I'll see you in the next lesson.